All right, guys, this, this is craziness what's going on right now. This is wild. I found a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo online on OfferUp the other night, and me and the seller started talking immediately. Once we started talking, we had a whole bunch more stuff in common than I would have really thought just from talking to a random seller. And before I knew it, long story short, we got each other's personal phone numbers and we've been chatting ever since. And since then, he's refused to sell me these consoles because he wants to give them. With that, I've actually tried like a million different ways of telling him, please, I will pay you. And he's like, I will not, I'm just not doing it. So, but now let's go get the stuff. All right, I think I'm here. I'm in Huntington Beach, California. Not exactly sure if I'm in the right spot. Oh, maybe it's back there because the address didn't show up. Maybe, maybe, maybe he lives in that Airstream. I still can't believe how unreal cool this guy is and how much we're getting along just from literally off up. So, time to meet him. I think I found him. I think he's up there. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Good. What's dude, up? Got the same freaking little, uh, whatever. Got the whole setup, same as me? Yeah, dude. Dang, how are you, bro? Good. Just how are you? On. I'm good. Hey, how are you? Right now, but yeah, this is my whole little setup. So this is your spot. Yeah, so I tattoo out of here. I do my podcast. I do everything out of here. I want to see your podcast spot because it looks super uh, so cool. The podcast, saw. So, oh, you, this was the wall right here that yeah, you guys so were using. I just uh, we just did a sound bath uh, for some kids at the temple and stuff. So all the sound bowls go right here. We have different instruments. Dude, that is uh, awesome. Dude. Yeah, man. And then uh, yeah, let me give you a bunch of look at this. He's even got more stuff lit. Where the heck? So that one, I'm trying to, I'm trying That's to the one up. you're trying to get going? I find you a box or something, all of these yours, bro. You are insane, bro. Oh my God. I mean, let me know if there's any way I can ever help you out or your shop or anything because. And I know this is worth something, but I'll give it to you, bro. I what? Love, yeah, I love Zelda. Are you for real? Yeah, man. You get more joy out of it than me. Oh my gosh, dude. I can get you, you and I have so many things in common right now is the more you talk, so. I think, dude, oh my gosh. Super Nintendo, Nintendo. There's some Sega stuff A couple there. games in here, Super Monaco. I actually really like this cover I've yeah. talked about before. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh, you're insane. Dude, that is awesome. I'm gonna put everything in this box for you. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I know, I know, so I, I, was, I was trying to tell him, like, what can I give you? What can I do for you? Because- I just don't want it. I, I want you to give something to somebody that, that really needs it, bro. Okay, so you want me to give something to someone yeah, who really so needs like it. You okay. Do, you do a pass it on thing, uh, and then you okay. tell me about it. You guys <laughs> hold me accountable that I need to make sure in, a, in an upcoming video that I pass it on to someone else and I thank you. Dude, it, it's funny, uh, cause then uh, there was a tattoo shop that just got broken into, and then uh, I just gave them a bunch of um, my older tattoo machines. And then all I asked for them to do was just pass it forward to someone who needs it in the future. All right. I'm walking down to my car with this stuff. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. This guy is just unreal. People like that don't exist these days. I am setting these in my car as we speak. Again, to give you guys a little bit of a closer look, even though that's what I feel like this isn't even about at this point. He gave me a Super Nintendo, Monaco GP, hard drive, an F-Zero, Lion King, and even Link to the Past. I don't even know where it is, but he put it in there. There it is. But it's not even about that right now. What's crazy to me was this, this guy. And I started talking to him and I know we talked before, but he has so much going as far as like what he's doing and he is nothing but a definition of someone who wants to bless other people. Now the consoles that I got that are in my car, those are actually gonna go in my game room on my Xbox kiosk and some of those cubes so I can play more retro games, actual and actual hardware inside of my game room. But with that, you guys have to let me know in the comments how you think we should bless him back. I know for me, at least I wanna be able to give him some actual finances. So I'm gonna actually get a tattoo from him because he's a tattoo artist. So that's one way. But you guys let me know if there's another way you guys can think of because guys like that just deserve the world and more. I mean, he literally wouldn't accept that money. I'm like, just uh, let me give you the money. I have the money. Let me give it to you. And he was like, I won't. So again, let me know 
And um, I'm actually off right now to go pick up a Nintendo Switch, uh, a console, and I already have a console, but I'm going to pick up a console because it's a bundle, but to get my kids some games they want. So let's go get that right now. I'm actually really excited to pick this up for a good deal. But again, I can't get over that dude, man. I just can't get over how nice of a guy he was. You barely, rarely run into dudes like this. He runs nonprofit, self-defense for seniors, trying to help out people. I mean, that's all he wanted to talk about is different ways to help people. And I think it's amazing. It's inspiring. Okay, I am just about there. But I don't want to film this person, so I'll show you guys what I got after. I didn't tell them about the show or anything, obviously. I don't do that with regular people, unlike the last guy where we just clicked. So I'll show you guys in a sec what we got. Green light, I gotta go, gotta go. Safety first. All right, let me show you guys what I got. I just met with him. Super nice kid as well, man. What in the world is going on with the great people in the world? I love it. Nintendo Switch Gray, and inside there is Super Smash Bros, which yes, he knew was in there. It wasn't an accident. Smash Bros in there, Gray Nintendo Switch, comes with everything and the cables, and also Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Party. And might I add, a very good deal, $200 for all of this. I mean, so wonderful, wonderful deal. It is that beautiful time of day where the sun is going down and the birds are chirping and it's just gorgeous outside. And I'm feeling extra thankful for everything in the world right now. Thanks to you guys so much for always watching and just being a part of the show. And even for these amazing people that I get to meet along the way. Again, the best part about this isn't the stuff we get, but the people and the relationships we build along the way. So this day was just a big reminder of that for me. So I'm getting back in my car and gonna go hang out with my wife and kids tonight because that is more important than any game will ever be. All right, here is the very, very important part of the video. The Nintendo and Super Nintendo that I was given to for free meant a lot to me. And what I thought was really important and I didn't want to take advantage of is the fact that he said to make sure and pay it back forward, to do something on your behalf. Whatever you think you should do, do it and do it with goodwill and good intention. And I was really thinking about it like what would be the best thing to do, what it feels right in my heart. And immediately when I started thinking about it, I'll be honest, started praying about it, I thought of a little dude we met named Lincoln in Sacramento. And we met this kid in Sacramento, me and the squad, and we didn't know anything about him. We just paid close attention to him because to us, our heart is where when we see little kids that are into retro gaming, it's really cool to us. So we had a good time with this kid, kind of messed around with him, kind of played around with him, had, treat him treated him as we should, one of our own. And after the convention, we got a message on Instagram, as I was told by Mikey or Gabo, that the mom reached out and said, that this actually meant the world to Lincoln because we're the reason that he came, which to us blows us away. And what even blew me away more is that Lincoln coming there was almost a mini miracle because he's an open heart surgery survivor. And this to me struck a chord with me and was really important to me. And uh, we reached out to, to the mom, to the family, even to Lincoln, sent him some messages after the expo. And I even checked in with her maybe about a week or so ago and asked her for an update and Lincoln's journey isn't over. Lincoln Boss, a second grader attending Julian Elementary School, is a bright, positive, and happy seven-year-old boy who, at first glance, you would not know has experienced so much adversity in his life. At birth, he was diagnosed with a complex congenital heart condition and had his first open heart surgery on the fourth day of his life. In addition to his heart condition, Lincoln has various health challenges that alter his blood oxygen levels and his physical activity on his dominant side. Lincoln had his third open heart surgery at the beginning of the year and hopes to have his final surgery in May. And I actually didn't want to get too deep into what their personal lives are of what's going on, but what I do know and what I did know cannot be easy to go through. And for me, I even asked and I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna come off weird or creepy or anything. And I'm like, do you guys have a GoFundMe or anything I'd love to know? Maybe help out a little bit if I can. And long story short, she ended up saying, no, we don't. But then again, I'm not gonna get into people's personal lives too much. But long story short, money would be appreciated if possible because this stuff is unbelievably pricey. So with that said, Yes, I asked for her email if I could get her PayPal. She doesn't know that I'm making a video and I am, yes, going to be donating money. And yes, the rest of the squad will. And I am putting it on you guys to please 
to, to, to show love in this community to this family. I will leave a link down below to their email. It's just to a PayPal. You can throw in a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. It doesn't matter. Send well wishes to the email if you want instead. I think this is the stuff that's the most important for us in the community to be doing this. Our community isn't perfect. It's not crystal clean. There's good, bad, and the ugly, but when we can do a chant, make it, use this community as something to pay it forward, like this guy did for me with the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo, is some, something as simple as that, which would meant a lot to me, to then in return, on behalf of you guys, not on behalf of me, on behalf of you guys, do something amazing for this little dude who is gonna have a good long future representing retro video games. So with that guys, I say it with yes me asking for this family down below to help out this little dude Lincoln. I appreciate you guys.